I did not properly finish the video. It's because, you know, you touch one subject and you're thinking, and it's a new horizon that opens. So let's finish this off. Here, this again is the street which I. There you go. The apartment from Yanko. Uh, Yanko is grandfather was this one right here in the top. Let me see that. Actually, then he must be, this is a little bit of a trouble because I was thinking about, let me see something. It's gotta be this, this apartment with this birch tree right there covering in front of it, right at the top. It must be this here. This must be from Yanko apartment with a view on uh, this area here, basically. So this was involved since my age six months. Uh, he would have the area of military personnel that would visit uh, his place they would visit him and would consent him on how to get me basically destroyed. I think that this was the unit from Yanko. Uh, and they together have uh, planned on how they are going to destroy me. This is actually really, it's really interesting. It's rather interesting stuff because it's, um, um, They discussed these issues in front of me, you understand? I was a child, but and it's really unlikely I would remember the stuff like this. However, I do remember one. So, yeah, I feel that this is important evidence for me to include uh, in it. I think this is what it was. I would say that this is what it was. I don't think it was the floor below. I think it was on the top, not below. It could be, it possibly could be also below, but I think it was on the top anyways. I think it was on the top anyways. Um, this is kind of, uh, uh, kind of a, uh, kind of a trouble for me here because I actually even imagined that yeah, the problem is they had me in all these buildings, you know, this is where really problem is. You know, this building here that you see here, this tree is in the background, this, I don't know how you say this verba here that you see this, this is very, very also, uh, very, very familiar. This might have been another officer on the top floor. Uh, let me just see from this side. Balcony. I remember this balcony here with the view. This is the place where they had me a lot inside in this building also on the top floor with the balcony on this tree here that you can see in the back. This is what I had in mind for Yanko originally. All right. This would be basically the description of the Yanko's place. But you know who this was? I'm going to tell you, this was a Yugoslav officer. However, this man was from Bosnia. Um, are you talking about my age here? Maybe two years of age? one year of age, two years of age. And so Tatalovich here, if they had something else to do, if they had some other business to do, they would hand me to their friends. This is how I got to know the nurse uh, grandfather also from the nurse Yanko. And the lady here that, that I'm talking about here on this floor, 
You see, I think, but I'm not sure that they were Bosnian, but I'm not sure. It was a, also a military officer. You get it? So don't fucking say, I don't know what I'm doing. Or saying, uh, cops push his nose in it. No, Mr. Police Director told me I will never ever be capable to destroy Yanko. Well, you know, fuck you. I am not going to only get Yanko. You are on the list too. You're good to go. You guys that were in it, 10 life sentences for each one. I don't fucking let one of you with your grandkids get away with it. Preferably, it's like you said to me during MK Ultra, it should be. You should be really hanged in front of the police station because you don't deserve anything other than that. I would publicly lynch you to tell you what I think about you. You are not worth actually the prison sentence. You are scum. So this is going to be the part number two.